Hello, I'm Kerry, and if you're watching this video, just know that it was posted in the middle of October 2017, and at this point, we still have no word about the renewal of Degrassi Next Class. However, we finally have some type of acknowledgement from someone at Degrassi in regards to where the show is and the possible future of the show. Now, this comes from the queen of Degrassi herself, Linda Schuyler. Her comments were actually posted in an article titled The Queer Legacy of Degrassi. That title is pretty self-explanatory, and I'll leave a link in the description of where you can read the entire article. There were some very interesting things mentioned in that article, but tucked away at the very bottom of the article, Linda said this, quote, We are all wondering when Netflix is going to make a decision, says Skyler. We have scripts developed and the creative process is continuing on and we're at the mercy of their timeline. We're certainly very optimistic right now that we will continue our storytelling with Netflix. So Linda basically confirms that Degrassi is indeed waiting on Netflix to figure out what they're going to do with the show. And I can imagine that they're taking this long to figure out if they want to keep a little show like Degrassi unless they're planning on keeping it. Because if we're being honest, Degrassi Next Class is not a popular show. But the Degrassi brand, on the other hand, still has that pop culture recognition thing going on. I mean, look at what Degrassi did over the weekend. All they did was just post a picture across their socials of the Degrassi TNG cast and recognize the 16 year anniversary of Degrassi TNG and they received a lot more social interaction than they usually do. And also every day I feel like I'm complaining about people who want to watch things like Degrassi TNG but they don't know that they can watch it on YouTube for free so fans of Degrassi are still out here even if no one is really talking all that much about Degrassi next class. Seeing that Degrassi has scripts developed and the creative ball is still rolling during the hiatus is a good thing, but if you're a longtime fan of Degrassi, you should already know that this is the norm for them. Degrassi has always operated as if the next season is going to happen, even if they don't have that official confirmation. But if Linda is optimistic, I think we all should be pretty optimistic as well. And then after Linda's quotes, there was something interesting mentioned in the article. Uh, the article says, quote, It's possible, however, that even if Degrassi stays with Netflix, the next class incarnation could be over all the same. Let's repeat that. Even if Degrassi stays with Netflix, the next class incarnation could be over all the same. So the article implies that the show could reboot itself again, and this falls in line with what I've been thinking since probably about this time last year. Uh, in October of 2016, we got that confirmation that the seniors were going to graduate at the end of season four, and the show losing half of its cast makes for a great time for Degrassi to reboot itself in a big way. Because the average person out here, they're not following Degrassi as closely as some of us are, so they think Next Class is actually some completely different spinoff series, when in reality, the switchover was a new set and them slapping the words next class underneath the Degrassi logo. I'll keep saying it though. We are past the point of just being happy that Degrassi exists because once you get past the hoopla of Degrassi having been canceled after season 14 and then that honeymoon phase of Degrassi being saved by Netflix and then season one coming and going, after that point, just existing is all Degrassi seems to have done in the Next Class era. Regardless of how awesome I think that Next Class has been in terms of the quality of the stories that they're telling. And Netflix has a lot of stuff they've got to figure out. I mean, they have issues like them taking these 40 episodes of Next Class and creating four Quotey Fingers seasons. And that has just become a literal, unintentional mind game with the fans. And there's just been a complete lack of social presence or engagement from the broadcasters for a TV show that is literally built around social media. The Degrassi writers literally and intentionally integrate social media into every single storyline. The actual episodes themselves have been truly enjoyable in Degrassi Next Class, but the fan experience in Next Class has been nothing short of forgettable. Next, so Netflix, you got a lot of work to do and figuring out what you want to do with Degrassi. And I hope that Netflix is looking to make some big changes here.
because the Degrassi experience over the past two years hasn't necessarily been ideal. And I want to see Degrassi make a bigger impact than what it has. Because I feel like they're telling these great stories. They've got these great concepts and themes that they're presenting to the world and no one's really paying attention to them. And what I say here doesn't really matter. I'm just a dude who enjoys Degrassi by default and, you know, Degrassi fandom. We're we're in our own little bubble. Of course, I'm going to say good things about Degrassi. But I want to see Degrassi make some big changes. Not changing just for the sake of changing, but making changes that can dramatically improve the show and its reach and its impact. I want to see other people hyped about this show, just like they're hyped when a new season of Riverdale, you know, just came out. You know, a new season of Riverdale, everybody's excited about that, regardless of whether you like or hate the show. It is a very popular show. And I want to see Degrassi as a teen drama right up there in the mix in terms of hype, because I want to see this cast and crew who have been working hard for years get that recognition that they deserve. And that's all I've got for this video. It is sounding, for the most part right now, like we are going to get some new Degrassi at some point. They just have to figure out what in the heck they're going to actually do with the show. All of that is up in the air. But leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Degrassi Corner for the latest Degrassi news and more.